Hi everybody, it's Janet Vilda. Back with yet another uh, FS Digital Studio, uh, I guess it's a tag album. This is another of her uh, folio kits. And once again, I like to, like I said, I like to uh, think outside of the box. So if somebody says it's folio, I think of all the ways it could not be a folio. <laughs> But obviously the, um, the, the wonderful um, thing is about those kits is that everything is there for you to just very quickly put together a wonderful little folio and make a great Christmas present, um, maybe as an insert for another album, make a, you know, maybe make a bunch of them, put them in a box and have the 12 days of Christmas, that kind of thing. So folios are one and I love, I'm, I love folios. Um, but I have to tell you, um, the first time I took a look at this kit, the first thing I thought was tag album. I don't know why, but that's what I thought. <laughs> um, I like making tag albums. And then I was like, oh, no, no, yeah, you made a lot of them. So went and searched for inspiration for something else. And then finally I was like, you know what, I'm inspired? A tag album. So here we go. Here's my tag, <laughs> tag album. Uh, the link to the kit will be down below. And it's it's not very many pages. There's one, two, three, four, what, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's six pages. And one of the other things I did was, besides this first page, every one of them are essentially the same on both sides. That made it go even faster. You know, once I decided how that page was going to look, I just duplicated it on the other side. Um, and then it was just a matter of choosing the papers. So it made it go a lot faster. And I, I you know, I like the, the symmetry throughout. So as you can see, there's um, also lots of ribbons. I like my ribbons. Um, on the front page here, so this is one of the, the pages. So um, the kit is made out. You can make it, uh, add it into a junk journal, make the folio, make, you know, lots of ways you can use this. I cut the pages up into sections and that became each of my pages. And they're pretty tall, so as you can see. So I am here in Europe, so my, all my paper is A4. I kind of like to do things where I don't waste paper. So I measured out the paper and divided it into three and left it at the, the width. So the paper would be going this way. Um, so I wasn't taking off anything and, and wasting paper. So that's how I got the size of the cardstock base for each one and then just matted. And what was nice was that when I printed it standard style on my, again, on my A4 paper, it was perfect. The, you know, you always have a little, or not always, unless you go borderless, it had a little white border. Cut the, off that border and it was perfect matte for the page. So worked out really well in case you want to duplicate um like i said i making it simple to where you only have a few cuts as well yeah especially like i said if you want to make a bunch of these for christmas um streamlining things is the way to go so on the cover i did um print out this page twice so that i could cut out the birdie plus the other um half of the page i used that you know, quite a bit in a few pages, so they all got used. I had very, very little waste. Um, of course, nothing goes to waste, but very, very little waste when I was done. Like I said, I, I tried real hard to maximize the usage of my paper. So then he's put onto some the black cardstock as well, cut out and then inked around. That really lets him stand out a bit. And then, of course, in real life, he really pops up just just a bit so I you know, like I said you could use dimensionals or fun foam and they'd pop up even more but I didn't want him to be overly popped up so let's go to the other side here um I did not make this so that you know you would hold it up like this and this side would be upright to you I made it so it would flip over and you would look at it on the other side or you can flip it around so I'll just flip it around so we can go through each page. So on this side, in the folio is this um, nice little, uh, like it's kind of like a tab. 
um, part of it like a like a tab on a folder and I like that you know one thing that you could use that for is use it as a template so if you want to make multiple tabs within your folio you can use that as a template as well to make the cuts on all the pages and then use that you know like a, a, a pocket and it would mimic it It'd, I think that would look nice now the one thing that this kit comes with is a boatload of ephemera so lots of tags and what I like about them is that it's not cookie cutter so as you can see there's these ones and I did ink around this with black so they're they're a little you know darker than um, when they came out of the printer <laughs> but there's a set of tags that have this like um, it, to me it looks like and I who knows maybe that's where she got them either old postcards or old Christmas cards um, and then there's these ones with this gray background and then there's a whole different set that has like a, a brownish background and then a whole different set that has like a really gray background and even though you can see that there you know it has very different feel the colors all pull them together so I really like that and I didn't do anything to these they're printed on white paper um, Again, that keeps the time <laughs> that you're spending on things down. But I did ink around, so it did go with the feel of the book. All right, so like I said, e each page is duplicated on each side. So if you see this side, the other side is exactly the same. Very subtle differences, mostly in the just the choice of the papers. So on this first one, we have these little tabs, and I have these great snowflake brads for those. And those open up. And on, right on the front is a little pocket, and we have one of those gray tags in there. And then this is an accordion that goes out. We have a few mats here and a couple mats there. And again, those are all the leftover papers from making the pages. So I'll spin this around. We can look at this side so you can see it exactly matches. It's just different choices of papers. So another tag in that little pocket. And then again, oop, we open there and there. Okay, and then the next page. And again, like I said, each of these are exactly the same on the other side. And what I've done is um, made the ribbon so that it, it's holding the flap closed on both sides. So you see what I mean. So I'll open up the ribbon. It lets me, come on, be nice to me. And you can see now I have this flap open here and the matching flap on the other side. And so it's holding both of them closed together. And so let's take a look at that. So on the front of the flap here, we have one of the pockets from the kit. And like I said, doesn't that look, it looks like a, one of those old postcards or Christmas card. And then this opens here. Lots of places for photos. Little pocket. And here's like two other sets of cards. And again, very different feel. I bet there's pieces that pull them all together that make it really work with everything. I like that. So it's not, like I said, it's not cookie cutter. Every single thing is exactly the same. And you feel like you've looked at the same image over and over and over again within a kit. So this is the other side of the, the flap and again same thing. This is the only one where the the paper here matches the paper on the other side. A couple of tags. Just a moment. Okay sorry about that. My husband came in made a lot of noise. All right so and here this flap we have a couple of other things. Now this is uh, actually a much larger journal tag, but to fit into my pocket, I just cut off a bit of it. And then again, these tie on the side holding both 
of the flaps together. Uh, tie that real quick. All right, and then we have the next page here. Sorry, it's a little hard to <laughs> get it in frame here. I said pretty long pages and it wants to flop everywhere. So once again, the two sides are held together with the same ribbon. So undo the ribbon. And we have a flap and on the front of this flap, we have a couple of those great. Oh, and that's room for another one. So I can put there. Okay, we can put that one there. And then we open up and then these are just placed in here. So there's no pocket, um, but I mean, with that little flap, it holds it closed and I can put in a bunch of journal cards that can then have lots more pictures. So, and let me flip that over. Oh, <laughs> and of course, since I don't have it closed, they all want to fall out. So I'll set those to the side. And then on this flap, same thing. We've got a few guys sitting in the flap and then a couple of journal cards and there's a pocket here. And all of these pockets are in the kit. So I didn't make the pocket. The pocket is part of the kit. So you just need to cut it out and you're good to go. Now this one's slightly different. So it does have the ribbons holding the flap shut, but the ribbon doesn't, you know, it's not connected to the other side. So each side has its own. And that's mostly because of the, the way I meant it. I had a reason. <laughs> and this is one of the journal cards. And then you have a few places here for pictures. And there is a spot here. Um, so that is open. So if you want to put a card there, there is a place there for another card. And I won't undo this ribbon, but it's the same thing. It flaps up as well, and there's also a spot here for another card. And you can see I didn't like add a bunch of decoration. I just I let the, you know let the paper sometimes just just shine. And here this the final page um, utilizes the other pockets that are in the kit to hold a bunch of ephemera pieces. And a couple little little tiny cards. And then on the back, we again have some more cards. So like I said, lots and lots of ephemera. Um, and there is even more ephemera that I didn't use in this. I mean, it's not the, the largest book, not a whole bunch um, of pages, but like I said, I used quite a bit of ephemera, but there is still <laughs> A lot that I did not use so that will go into my stash and it will be used in another book because they're very versatile and easy to use so I hope you enjoyed that easy 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 and like I said um, if you use the paper that you have and and um, let the size of the paper rule then you won't have excess that you're cutting off and throwing away or desperately trying to figure out how you're going to use somewhere else um, so just using the size of the paper and letting the paper kind of dictate how big the book was. Um, yes, it's quite tall, but it, I think that adds something to it. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got some inspiration. Again, go check out SS Digital Studio, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.